I think all of our lives have changed in a lot of ways. I missed my kids. We work from home. I've watched my caregivers do unbelievable and heroic things. But I've also had some health challenges. I was one of those people who, if I got COVID, I probably would have gone up and smoked pretty fast. Claudette misses school a lot. She's a very social little girl, so she really loved being around her friends. Now, of course, it's all changed. It's been very sad for me, and it also makes me very angry that people just don't seem to care. I'm consistently wiping down surfaces and being sure that the area around me is essentially disinfected, which I <laughs> never did that before. I'll admit it's very difficult because people want to be normal. Being immunocompromised basically means that somebody has a weakened immune system or the decreased ability to fight off infections. So people who are immunocompromised might become extremely sick from an infection that somebody else may not have any issue with. We estimate that about 2.7 to 3% of Americans are immunocompromised. But it's important to understand that this number doesn't include everyone out there because there are people out there who could be immunocompromised and not know about it. I had a blood cancer going into the pandemic and right before the pandemic started, I had a bone marrow transplant. And just as the worst part of the pandemic kicked off in March 2020, I needed to be enrolled in an experimental trial. If she gets COVID, it could kill her really. Even though she's vaccinated, at least 45% of the kids in our school district are not vaccinated. So a kid could walk into her school, theoretically, go into her classroom and sit three feet away from her with COVID and not have a mask on. And that's very risky for us. I don't think that normal, as in pre-pandemic uh, environment, will ever be the case for me ever again. But I've been vaccinated three times and my, I have almost no antibodies at all. The idea of standing in the middle of a crowd at a concert, for example, that'll no longer be something I can do. I hope that all of you who aren't wearing masks aren't carrying the Delta variant, because if you are, you could kill me. It added a really an interesting additional lens to my role as a physician leader of a very large health system, battling at the front lines of the pandemic and watching decisions that are made and understanding the impact on people's lives in a very different way. For the last two years, we've heard from certain people who said that they weren't worried about catching COVID and they trusted their natural immunity. And they said, our bodies are designed to fight off this virus. Well, that's a privilege that millions of Americans cannot take for granted. As much as I'm happy to see society coming back to normal and kids getting back into school, I recognize that yes, my life is gonna to have to be different forever and it, it is what it is and I just have to accept it and, and uh, it's unfortunate but I recognize that that's what I have to do to protect myself. Hand sanitizer right at the door. It makes me really really angry. I've had a real awakening about this country in the last two years about how selfish some people are just because we aren't there screaming and making a scene doesn't mean that that we aren't out here and struggling and we don't deserve the same considerations that everyone else does. If the last two years have taught us anything, life is imperfect. Meeting everybody's needs is very difficult and that's where I think individuals need to make decisions for themselves and for their families and then hopefully remain civil members of society. I want to be surrounded by a couple thousand people who are fellow enthusiasts and swim in the ocean and bike on some pretty roads and run on some trails. And that's, that's living. Don't forget about all the immunocompromised people. Go look at your data. Look at your numbers of how many kids are under age five, how many people are immunocompromised. All these people are out there and we're your constituents and we need to feel safe. We want to get out too. If you do know people who are immunocompromised, who are, who are older, who are frail, be conscientious of those folks. Give them their space. Be sensitive to them because I assure you, they are thinking about it every single day, every hour of every day. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.